Over the past two weeks, we have seen four young lives cut short in crashes where police say speed may be a factor. Thanks for joining us. I'm Mary Alice Demler. And hello again, everyone. I'm Scott Levin. The latest victims were just 17 years old. They died in Clarence. Channel 2's Ron Plants is hearing from friends tonight. If you go by Warner Road in the town of Lancaster and now Delaware Road in the town of Clarence, you will see the flowers, balloons, cards, and other forms of tribute amidst the other debris or damaged trees from the impact. In Lancaster, where police did not yet return a call today, an accident investigation apparently still open with officers who mentioned speed and weather conditions as contributing factors. That is, the car's 19-year-old male driver was injured and his two 19-year-old passengers, listed as Mackenzie Mychek and Molly Kaminsky by the Buffalo News, were both killed last Wednesday following that collision with the tree as the car they were in erupted into flames. Then in Clarence yesterday, just after 4 p.m., a Jeep Cherokee driven by 17-year-old Luke Malinich ran off the road, overturned, and hit a tree. He and his passenger, 17-year-old Lauren Taggart, were killed. They were both seniors at Williamsville South High School. Luke's friends were out at the scene on Delaware Road today to remember and respect and cherish his never-ending ability to always cheer them up. Just the goofiness. I love, oh, I miss that. Like, no one's ever going to replace that. And uh, I don't know. There's never going to be another kid like Luke. And a favorite memory of this athletic young man fitting that football balloon now blowing in the breeze. Tom taught him how to kick, and he was like, you could be really good at this, man. And next day, he signed up for football and played football, and that was Luke. He was just a spontaneous kid. We got prom season. We were close to graduation. It was close to a lot of life-changing goals. He was just going to get his driver's license in two weeks. While they didn't know Lauren that well. He didn't stop talking about her, but... I know like when all of this happened, he was, he was happy. That's the way they wish to remember them both. Ron Plants, Channel 2 News.